Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm a co-founder of Total. At Total, we have a certain love for building small and useless applications. Um, and before I talk about why, because there is actually a deeper meaning to that, but before I talk about why, I want to show you some of the pointless applications that we've built uh, in Total. So the first one here is one of my favorite. It's called the Owen Wilson Wow app. And this is based on a publicly available API someone built, and we'll link it in the description. And, um, it basically br like returns examples of Owen Wilson saying "Wow" in movies. And there's like a, here we've got a, a random randomized button where you can get a random "Wow," and you can also see uh, like little clips. So, wow, like playing different examples of uh, wow. Owen Wilson saying wow. wow. And we've added like a bar chart so you can map out the number of wows per movie. So obviously, if you want to get the most bang for the buck, Midnight in Paris or Cars 3 are just the best options for an Owen Wilson movie, right? Again, this seems very pointless, and it is. Um, another example is uh, I built this app called Random Band. Uh, you can find it at band.total.site. We'll link all these in the description, of course. And... Um, and it's basically an app that lets you play a single instrument by tapping the screen or clicking. Um, and any time, every time you reload it, it'll bring you a new instrument. And the idea is then that if you have like a couple of friends with smartphones, you can do a little band together. Um, and and maybe more if you've followed our, our videos and subscribed, you can see um, you've probably seen our our beatbox here, T Beat Pro. Um, which basically lets you uh, like punch in a beat on these uh, buttons and then play it and you can share it. And obviously, this is a fun tool to play around with, but ultimately pointless. Like you're not exactly going to create music, uh, like real music you can use for anything with this, right? Um, but the reason why we love this so much is first of all, you know, it's fun. You get to do fun little projects and explore ideas but it's also one of the best ways of learning new tools. So um, if you're working with a new API or new type of backend or just picking up a tool like Toddle, um, a lot of people are inclined to start right away building the project they've been thinking about. I think almost anyone who's looking at no code or visual development tools come out with a like idea, I want to build this app, right? And I just want to get started, right? I don't want to spend too much time learning anything. I just want to get started. And the reality is that for some things, for really simple things, that might work. But in the majority of cases, that's not really a good way to start. The, like if you're learning programming, especially if you've never done before, you know, it is, it is complex. It takes some time to learn. Um, and you want to spend some time learning the fundamentals of every platform before you jump into the large project. The reality is that spending some time building these small projects that um, are relatively simple, so you can build them quite quickly, that's one of the things, they don't really serve too much of a purpose. So you don't need to go back and bug fix, you don't really need to maintain them for a long time, because the point was just to build something simple and fun, right? And then you use it as a learning experience and move on. I really recommend that approach to doing it because it gives you the success experience early and it lets you actually get something out into the world. It shows you like through the whole process, you can build something. A lot of times when we see people like that have this grand idea of what they want to build, if you don't, aren't even sure what tools you need to use to get started, that becomes this immense mountain. Like you want to get into it. You want to learn your tools. And once you understand the tools, then you want to look at the larger, more ambitious projects. And even, even for us who've been building for, for a lot of times, when we're exploring new ideas and we're exploring new features in Total, we often use them to build small projects because it's a really good way of learning how does this work in context. So even if you build the tool yourself, sometimes you've got to learn how it actually performs, how it actually works um, when building real applications. And for us, small silly useless tools or apps like this is just the absolute best way it's the best approach to learning um so that's a little bit of thought from us uh, i i hope you'll adopt this idea go and build something it doesn't have to be a grand thing it doesn't have to change the world build something small build something silly it's the best way to learn programming it's the best way to learn new tools um 
I'm really looking forward to see what you're going to build. I hope you'll share your silly, fun projects with us. Uh, we always love to see when people do that. Thank you very much.